Huwag ka tumabok ng presidente. Wala ka talagang alam. Kayong dito mga senador, dapat nalaman na ninyo yun. Na itong palang mga generals natin sa PNP, naglalaro, they were into drug trafficking, including the believed prison, which was under the Justice Department. Hindi man ito lumalabas noon sa panahon ni Aquino ka, sa inyo. Well, sa inyo, walang mga bakit ito, overnight ito mga drug addicts, pag, pag upo ko, kinabukasan, payat na, malnourished na, wala ng kain. Anong palpak? Kailan naging palpak? Kayo ang palpak. Hindi mo ako mapalpak because there was a challenge. And I rose to it. Sabi ko, ito gusto ninyo. O sige. Kayo, pupunta ng Amerika. Ito si Reza, isa pa. Punta ng Amerika. Hindi mo nasabihan, gaga ka kabahit kung punta ng Amerika. Iyong Amerika mismo was the one mounting charges against me. Even the President Obama was accusing me in a just press con. Kaya sinabi ko, Sabi ko, you're a son of a bitch. Read my lips. Pariho kami, President, that she was talking about me badly in a press conference. Sir, let me read to you. Meron din pong statement si uh, Vice President Lenny. She said, ano ba ang kinatatakutan ninyo? Meron ba, sir? Ang uh, uh, kinatakutan namin? Uh -huh. na pababa ka na pababa. Ang pababa. Lenny, yo, look. Lenny, ano? Hindi, hindi wala akong, hindi ako pro-alan, hindi ako. Huwag ka tumabok ng presidente. Wala ka talagang alam. Wala ka talagang alam. Ayaw ko na sabihin na dalawang beses sa kumuha ng bar, pero wala ka talagang alam. What's next Remember, now? I said that the police can accept gifts. Of course, sabi ko. So long as it is uh, out of gratitude in small tokens. Sandali. <coughs> Tapos, dalawa kong sinador in a Niger Akala mo automatic, ah, that is immoral, that is illegal, that is unconstitutional. Sabi ko, hey, Gaga, I was using the words of the law itself, the anti-graft and corrupt practice. Abogada ka, hindi mo alam, tapos mag-presidente ka. Tapos magsabi ka lang, relying on your being a lawyer, ah, patay. Or yeah, it will be a classic. Last on this topic, sir. Wag kang tumanggap na po. Ngayon, maghanap ko yun ng iba niyan. Yan, yan, yan. Ilagay niyo, disgrace, yan, yan. Ima, remember, kayo ang nag-opisa na ito. I kept my silence all along. Kasi supuro kayo mga wise, you think, that your words coming out of your mouth are words of wisdom to the Filipino people. Now, Filipino people, you're listening to me. Hindi na po ako politiko, hindi na po ako tumakbo, wala akong kandidato. Sinasabi ko lang sa inyo, disgrasya kayo pag si Lene ang... Subukan ninyo. But saan ka makakita dito to fight drugs, magpunta pa doon sa... Padalhin pa yung Human Rights Commission. Bilib ako sa iyo, Pangilina. I was following her closely. Minumonitor ko siya. She started to talk about uh, talking to so many nations. She... Uh, will go to the United Nations and uh, and the first thing she did uh, on that day, day after was she went to the American Embassy. Uh, tapos uh, she invited the 
Commission on uh, the Human Rights. Yung sabi ko na apologize because she invited the prosecutor. Alam mo, pakagat ko lang yun, Lenny. The truth is, the, I, uh, sa tweet, nakita ko, uh, Hi, Lenny. Uh, apparently, address to you. Uh, uh, cellphone mo. Eh. Said, uh, I am I'm pack, um, all packed and ready to go. And uh, uh, excited to be there. And, uh, going there to arrest Duterte. Uh, sabi ko, magsabi ba yan sa tao ng gano'n na kung hindi mo niyaya? But since I could not prove it, or I have to tinker with the ayaw ko rin, because it is not a national security issue. Uh -huh. Pwede kong sundin yung tawag mo. I mean, I, we, you leave a trace, eh, a trajectory there in the air. Pwede kong tignan, but since I said it's a, uh, uh, hindi naman bababal eh. You have to get a, a permission from the court. So, uh, hinayaan na lang kita sabi mo na hindi mo na. It's between you and that idiot. Pero ang ayaw ko is pumunta ka sa Amerika. Uh, kung gusto mo punta ang Amerika, gusto mo kipag-usap ng iyo. Oh. Well, you made an asshole of yourself, you know. You should have convened what? All the barangay captains. All the mayors. Then all the guys connected with the rehabilitation now going on. On the rural, urban level. Then you have to take the stock of how many are getting better, how many are still in the limbo. No, dapat ginawa mo, eh, nag... Alam mo, ano ka eh, yung... Hindi ko kita maintindihan. You were there grandstanding. Pero hinayaan kita. At tapos, you keep on taunting me if you're... I, I will continue, I will fight, even if they will uh, put so many roadblocks uh, so that I cannot succeed. Kung magsalita ka ng gano'n, nandiyan ka, tapos yan pala ang tingin mo sa akin... Loko-loko ka pala eh. Eh, di ba, alisin na lang kita. Tapos itong wise 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 na wala namang utak po. Puro purma. Since he became a senator, he said, why don't you just fire Len eh? O so pinagbigyan ko. Alam mo bakit? Idol ko yan eh, si Pangilinan. Speaking of uh, Senator Bangilinan. Bilib Bangilina. ako dyan sa kanya. Kaya sinabi niya, ipahir mo. Hindi, <laughs> pinahir ko. Bilib ako sa iyo, Pangilinan. Speaking of Senator Pangilinan, sir, I'd like to read to you his statement as well as some other allies of the Vice President after you um, had her fired. Si Senator uh, Francis Pangilinan, he said, yung palpat na war on drugs, ginawa nilang war on VP. And then another quote, sir. Senator Risa Ontivero said, Not only were they not ready for the vice president, they are terrified of her. How do you respond to this? Are you afraid of Lenny Robredo? Well, those stupid remarks coming out from an empty head. Anong palpak? The war on drugs is a continuing one in all countries, even in America. You know that. Do not be pretend to be... Or if you are not stupid, do not pretend to be stupid. Alam ninyo yan. It is a never-ending war. Yeah.